Minigore was released to critical acclaim in July of 2009. Just three and a half years later, and the highly anticipated, once thought to never see the light of day sequel has finally been released. Minigore 2 Zombies amplifies everything that made the original smash hit. A twin stick arena style shooter at heart, Minigore 2 tasks the player with relatively few things to do. Survive, kill stuff, and collect coins. This may seem like a rather boring formula, and I'd be inclined to agree with you if it weren't for the fact that I dropped 4 hours into this game this evening. To say this is addictive is an understatement. Mountain Sheep Games has perfected the formula of an addictive game with immense replayability. As you continue to slay the oncoming hordes of undead, alligators, giant bunnies, crazed hunters, and penguins that are on fire and wheeling machine guns, no, I'm not making that up, supply crates will rain from the sky. These contain weapons for you to use on the battlefield. Each of the weapons has strengths, like the sword's high damage for example, and each has weaknesses, like the shotgun's low rate of fire. It's up to you to decide your own particular playstyle. Other than collecting cash, you can also pick up four leaf clovers. Collect three of these and you'll activate beast mode. This transforms your character into an unstoppable, out of control monster that simply mows down your adversaries. The mission structure is laid out in an all too familiar format. You're given three at any particular time. Complete one of these and it'll be replaced with another. Some of the missions available will require you to collect a certain sum of money, touch an object on the field, or require you to take out a named boss, which may only appear on certain maps. Money earned can be spent on the unbelievably large number of unlocks and upgrades available. You decide whether you want new weapons, upgrade existing ones, extra health, faster run speed, new levels, or upgrade the individual characters that you play with. Each level of the character upgrades will add to some of their vital stats, like stamina, speed, and companion strength. A persistent leveling system is in place that gives the player a sense of progression, even when only playing in short bursts. There are 20 playable characters, including some characters that appear in other games, like Hook Champ and Zombieville USA, 60 different enemy types, 7 unique bosses, over 10 weapons, loads of different arenas and over 300 challenges, all from a game that costs $1.99. Not only that, but the more than capable graphics engine can display 150 enemies on screen at any given time and looks outstanding on the iPhone 5's retina display thanks to some powerful lighting techniques and particle effects. Maybe it's my bias towards this franchise given that I was such a huge fan of the original, but I didn't hesitate in dropping $2 on this game and I highly recommend you do the same. The game is ultra polished and fun with a huge amount of unlockables and replayability. Of course there's in-app purchases available for those that want to skip ahead, but you never feel like you need to pick these up. It's not surprising Mountain Sheep released such a polished game given their track record and dare I say it, but Minigore 2 Zombies may even find a spot in my top 10 games of the year. Thank you so much for joining me today, folks. This has been another episode of Let's Check Out Some iOS Games. My name's Alex, and I'll see you again next time.